First, though, Super Bowl egg test, which was 100% right. Once again, the Super Bowl egg test pulls it off. And I had asked Fester to coordinate, actually come in and do the Super Bowl egg test on Friday. And this is what it sounded like Friday during the best of. We had a fresh segment with the Super Bowl egg test, and this is what happened. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, somebody, baby. Somebody no sign yet. You can just hear little slight cracks in the egg. We are at one minute right now. Okay. Oh, I heard something. Yep. They're cooking. They're cooking. They're cooking. They got to be close. Oh, oh, seven, oh, oh, grab, grab it. Grab it. Grab it. I don't hear anything. Oh, my God. Look at that. What a disaster. Whoa. Oh, the 49ers. <laughs> Holy cow. The 49ers what? They just blew up. So that means the winner of Super Bowl 58 is going to be... KC, baby. The Kansas City Chiefs have won the MJ Morning Show Super Bowl egg test. And of course, the Super Bowl egg test is simple. We take two eggs. We put the logo for each team on the eggs. We start the microwave, and whichever egg explodes first, that's the loser. The surviving egg's the winner. And Friday's egg test... With Fester and Roxanne, for all you couldn't be bothered to come in? No. MJ, don't you think the sound of that egg was good? All right. <laughs> the sound of the egg, we got a couple of issues here. Oh, of course we all do. Right. <laughs> we have a, a couple of issues. First of all, you could barely hear the egg explode. I should have had the egg mic okay, a little listen, better. Listen, well, listen. Person who couldn't get off their boat to come in, yeah. and person Wait, who what? was in Indonesia has no right to criticize that, the two people no, who have dedication. No, 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 that is false. That, I said that, that sounds great. That, that, is, that is not true. I said to Fester, because we played that audio right at the beginning of the show at 6 a.m. this morning. The fact that the Super Bowl egg test once again was accurate and predicted the Super Bowl. And listen, it looked like the 49ers were going to win. And then the Chiefs came back late in the game. Chiefs won in overtime, as everyone knows at this point. But the Super Bowl egg test, how many people were saying, oh, Super Bowl egg test is going to be wrong. 49ers are going to win it. And look what happened. The Chiefs came back and won in OT. The Super Bowl egg test was right. But listen to this. I said to Fester earlier this morning after I played that audio bite, it's like, Dude, why is the egg explosion so muted? Why is it so low? They put the microwave oven in the back on the credenza in the back of the room. Who cares? Fester, because we always put the microwave on the counter with a microphone right on top of the microwave well, oven. MJ, so we if can... I was here, I would have put it right here. That's, and where, I we, mic- that's <laughs> where we've had it every year. that we've been, We put the... Fester. Boy, wh- if Roy would have just come in, that would have saved the that's day. That's what I would have done. Fester. Guys, why... I'm so sorry I have a Zoom call. Why <laughs> did you put the microwave in the back of the room instead of near a microphone? We're a radio morning show. Why? I'm just curious. Why? I'll tell you why. I will tell you why. Uh, I was my, here. I'll let my tell me why. Re- because I don't like Mondays. <laughs> tell me why. Go, tell me. This is why I don't we like Mondays. We had a professional photographer in here, videographer, and he was shooting from this side of the room. Well, what is it? Because we couldn't. That's we a good needed. Point. We needed to see the microwave right. and the action inside the microwave. Mm. That's not and, the defense I'm going with. Well, but for, pick for another. Roxanne, that, that makes no sense listen, whatsoever. Well, I'm just grasping at straws. I don't know. Fester's an idiot. That's why. That, that's that's <laughs> the reason. Thank you, Roxanne. Fester <laughs> is an idiot. Listen, that's Again, more of the answer. Wh- yeah, that's yeah, we, the, we, right. we didn't mic it as well as we could. Right. Okay, finally, great. Roxanne <laughs> breaks out of her shell. Yeah, like an egg. And well, we had a professional photographer trying to help you. You want my help? Okay, Fester. She's an idiot. Yeah. That's why we put uh, it yeah. over there. And Roxanne's an idiot for not mentioning it either. <laughs> not Roxanne's now, responsibility. Roxanne's responsibility is just to relax and talk. What's yeah. up with your voice? I tell you, it sounds like you've been drinking yeah. whiskey at a club it's, at th- 3 a.m. It's Who are you, my new Diane voice. <laughs> Hold on. You should listen to the beginning of the uh, Fester Roxanne Super Bowl egg challenge because the first thing we talk about is her voice sounding like she has glass in her throat. All right. Now, Fester, a couple of issues other than the fact that... Other than the fact that you didn't even place the microphone near the microwave. Which is the biggest but, of them all. all right, but there are other cluster issues that came up. What is the other issue? Apparently, there was a microwave problem. I go to Walmart the night before to buy a microwave. Every year, we buy a new microwave for the test. Because you can go to Walmart and buy a microwave for, what, sixty nine ninety nine or something? This was $70 there, on the button. Right. Look, at, look exactly. at that. Hamilton Beach, it had a whole pack. Pallet full of them right there in the rack. Right. I even tried to take one that I thought was in the middle. I, I went down a row and pulled one out of the middle. Listen to this. It was Festa sh- goes to Walmart, 
buys a microwave, a whole pallet of these things. So what, a couple of dozen microwaves on a pallet in the middle of the floor at Walmart, and you pick what appears to be one out of the middle of the stack on the pallet? Yeah. You bring the microwave back to the studio. And, oh, this is you have video of this? Well, I, I talked about it during the 20 minutes that we did the Super Bowl egg test. I, I brought all of this up. All right, here we go. It out of the box yet. Well, I bring it to the radio station. Hold on. I put it up here. I bring it to the radio station, and look at this. The whole front glass oh my God. Is shattered out. Oh, right. Okay, okay, oh okay. Oh, my God. But, 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 I know. But listen. So, oh, let me Pat stop George this. George yes. is in here oh, with me. He, he had to have Pat George tell him not to use it. He was going to use it like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm serious. Like, it comes out. I'm like, oh, crap. And Pat's in here. And, you know, he oh, always has to chirp in he, about everything. He that was, was going to use it. And I'm like, all right, well, I guess we're going with a broken. He goes, hey, man, you can't use a broken microwave. <laughs> It'll put radiation in the whole studio. It'll kill you. You bought a Hamilton Beach microwave from Walmart. You pull the box from the middle of the pallet. You open the box and the microwave for the Super Bowl egg test. I'm looking at the video right now, folks. Hey, Andrew, do me a favor. Uh, put this video, put, put all of the egg test videos up on. We've been around for a while. They've been up. I know, but did we put it up on as mentioned or as heard on the MJ Morning Show? It's on the web page, it's on the right. Facebook page, it's on the Instagram page. Right. So Andrew, the video's on as heard on the MJ Morning Show. Andrew it will be momentarily. Oh, see, it is nice. Nobody it's goes not to there. the website. Not all right. They so, go to they go to our socials. All right. Or you can go to our socials. This is unbelievable. Festa takes the microwave out of the box. So you didn't think of opening up the box prior to the egg. You went, you wouldn't open up the box to take a look at it? Who just opens make... up a microwave box at a store? I've never done. If I bought an appliance at a store, I, I don't think of opening up a box in the middle of Walmart. But that is insane. That is absolutely crazy that you take the brand new microwave out of the box. The whole front door glass is smashed like, like some maniac took a brick and smashed it. So now I'm screwed. And Pat's <laughs> like, hey, drive down to the Goodwill and go buy one for $8. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to leave and go to the Goodwill. We have two microwaves here in our little kitchenette. <laughs> yeah. One of them is unplugged that they use for like the home show or when when like clients or chefs so come you, in. You grab that to destroy with the Super Bowl That's egg test. The one we ended up using, <laughs> and you know, so it was a little bit of a disaster. It was kind of a ru- it was a rush job at oh, at that man. fest, and it had like a two foot a cord on it, and there was a plug right behind that little. Buffet you have, so that's why I put it there. Guess what? We have extension cords, dude. I know. Dude. I don't want to plug right. it into anything connected anyway. to the board because I don't want to, you know, overload the system and knock us off the air.